canceled Canadian concert. What? It's Tuesday, but don't fret because the heat tracker is here with all your favorite trending artists. And when we're done here, you can click grab Ver on the Fuse TV slash T Tonight for all your heat tracker needs. Do it. Chris Brown, he's been having a kind of rough month. Yeah. First, he turned himself into jail as part of a recently dismissed hit and run case. Yeah, last week, he suffered a seizure, <laughs> uh, which we now know was due to extreme fatigue and nonstop negativity. Yes, and just yesterday, Billboard tweeted out the latest in the Chris Brown saga. Chris Brown concerts have been canceled in Canada. Yeah, Brown was the headline act for the Energy Summer Rush concert series uh, in four different Canadian cities. Yes. According to a statement released by the entertainment group, the cancellation was a mutual agreement made by both parties in light of CB's recent health and legal issues. And while Chris hasn't specifically addressed the situation on Twitter, uh, he did send out this pretty ominous tweet. Uh, they label me a outcast, LOL. I'm just immortal. I live through my music. I achieved my aspirations, so ambition is breathing. Hmm. Okay, on a lighter note, Breezy finally dropped his self-directed video for Love More featuring Nicki Minaj. And while Chris cancels concerts, Ed Sheeran is announcing dates at Madison Square Garden. That's just right across the streets, right there. Hey, that's right. This morning, our favorite Brit tweeted that he will be performing right across the street at MSG on November 1st. He then followed up with this sweet message. Uh, my dad always said you haven't made it till you've played MSG, so it's a massive honor. Pre-sale being announced today. That's right, MSG, baby. <laughs> Some of you won't have to wait that long to see Ed Sheeran in concert because he still has a few more stops on Taylor Swift's Red Tour. Yeah, those two, they've grown pretty fond of each other. Uh, Swift recently shared a special gift with Ed, uh, shown here <laughs> in this tweet with attached Instagram. <laughs> Uh, Taylor made me some jam. Amazing. If you look closer, it says, uh, Yo, Ed, I'm really happy for you, and I'm going to let you finish, but this is the best jam of all time. Oh, Signed, what kind of jam that is? <laughs> Yo, Taylor, I'm going to let you finish, but that joke is really old, so get over it. Mm. In other good news, uh, since The weekend has officially put an end to beef rumors with Drake uh, at this year's OVO Festival, uh, oh. new music rumors surfaced about a supposed collaboration. Hugging it out. Look at them. A little bromance, mm -hmm. you know. Well, good people, this rumor is true, because just yesterday, the Canadian singer tweeted out this link, Sept 10. Yeah, the track titled Live For is the latest single off his upcoming sophomore album, Kiss Land, which is going to arrive on September the 10th. Mm -hmm. Those are just some of today's top trending stories. Send us a tweet at T10. And as always, watch Trending 10 weeknights at 7.30 p.m. on Fuse.